Hey everybody, it's Mr. Ma. What we're gonna do is go through our crystal violet uh, kinetics lab. Um, and uh, what I've got here is our lab quest. Um, I've got our spectro viz um, with our blank in it, which is just some water. Um, I've calibrated it. Um, and uh, our first step is gonna be to set our wavelength that we're gonna collect our data. So I've got a cuvette here of our crystal violet. Um, put that into our spectro viz. And then um, we are going to set our wavelength here. Um, the method says to set it kind of at 590 roughly. So we're going to go ahead here and collect our data. We're in the full spectrum mode, which is the default mode. Okay. Um, and uh, what we're going to see is that we're going to have our nice uh, graph there. We're going to go ahead and hit stop. Once we have our nice peak, try that again. There we go. And then we're going to set our wavelength at 590. Okay. So let's kind of estimate where that is. So at 574, I'll use my little buttons here to get to about 590. Oops. Try that again. Nope, I keep hitting. All right, that's pretty close. I might go a couple more here. All right. Now, even though you see the absorbance as over one, um, that's going to be okay because when we mix our crystal violet with our sodium hydroxide, um, the solution is slowly going to go to colorless. Um, and so the wavelength that it actually collects at is going to be less than one and then going down to zero. All right. Um, we are going to uh, go ahead and save our data. All right, so I'm gonna go file, save. Um, I'm gonna save it as this same file, which I did before. Uh, and then I'll hit save. Do I wanna override it? Yes. Okay. And then I'm gonna go top left to change my mode. I'm gonna go under uh, and I'm gonna make it time-based. All right. And now it says we wanna go for um, uh, 15 minutes, which is 900 seconds. All right, gonna hit done. Um, I find it best to keep it everything in seconds, um, other than sometimes the interval and how often it collects it gets weird. Um, so I'm gonna hit okay. All right, and we're gonna hit save because then hopefully it should save um, the, uh, the wavelength we collected it at. Let's see, we'll hit save. We're gonna overwrite that. And yep, and we're right around 590, which is what we wanted to do before, okay? Now, our solutions that we're gonna to mix together, um, we've got 10 milliliters of crystal violet, 10 milliliters of our sodium hydroxide. And what you wanna do is, as you mix them together, we're gonna to start collecting data um, on, our, um, on our lab quest. And I'll explain sort of why that is once we get everything mixed. All right. Um, and I've got my cuvette handy to do that. All right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Okay. Come on. Try the old. There we go. So it's starting there. I'm going to mix my solutions. Okay. I'm gonna put my solutions into a cuvette now. Okay, once I've got my solutions, I kind of give it a little bit of a mix. But even just pouring them together and pouring this should give it a good mix. I'm gonna replace my, oops, I'm gonna replace my cuvette. I should have had my, um, just nothing in there. So I'll let it go for a few seconds. Put that back in there. Ideally, um, this should have been lower, but um, what it was reading initially was my, my crystal violet, which was in there. Um, I probably should have taken that out to begin with. But um, the idea about mixing, starting to collect our data when there's nothing in, in the, um, in the spectroviz there um, is that we have a really good idea of what our, of our initial concentration was, which is this peak that it's starting at as it's going down. So what we're going to be able to do once our 900 seconds is up um, is be able to analyze our curve uh, and have the lab quest do that for us 
um, and to see if it's zero order, first order, or second order. All right. So what I'll do is I'll let this run, um, but uh, I won't make you watch it this whole time. And once this is collected the data, we'll go through the analysis. All right, everybody, our data collection is done. What we're gonna do is analyze our data. What I wanna do is I want to select that peak of our initial, I'll move this for a second. I wanna choose that peak there and then select all the way over here. All right, so I'm gonna try to select that. And then that's the point we're gonna start and we're gonna highlight that area. That's the area that we're gonna analyze. So we had actually had the lab quest analyze this, take the natural log of this uh, absorbance, um, and then also take the, the one over the absorbance as well. And so to do that, we're gonna go into the table and then you can see that it's already, this area is already selected, otherwise it wouldn't be darkened. Um, and that's the data set that we are gonna take a look at uh, and we could kind of move this up as well if we wanted to kind of see, but it doesn't include, you can see that it doesn't include that, that time when um, I, don't, I didn't want to. So it just includes the data set that we wanted. Looks like maybe I touched in a different area. So I'm actually gonna go back and select that as well. So I could select my data set here as well. We wanna go to See, here's that negative absorbance. That's right when we switched out our cuvette. So I'm actually gonna absorb our, our highest absorbance was here. I'm gonna select that and then drag down and select all this data. All right, gotta let it run because we had a time of like 900 seconds or so. If I hadn't messed around with it, we wouldn't do this. We already had selected it within the graph, uh, but now we're just reselecting everything here. All right, getting close. There we go. So now under my table, I'm gonna make a new calculated column. And first thing we can do, we're gonna select the equation type and we're gonna select the natural log um, of, our, of our absorbance there, all right? And so it's, it's taking the, I'm not sure what the A means, we have our natural log of X, the column for X is the absorbance. So that's where we wanna do, and we're gonna hit okay and then we go, shoots us back to our graph and we say, okay, is that a linear relationship? Well, it sure looks pretty linear to me. Um, and uh, so I'm thinking this is first order. We can also check one over the absorbance. Um, we can go back to our table and then we can make a new calculated column. Um, and then this time our equation is gonna be, um, is gonna be A over X, which means, um, a or whatever that means over x which is the absorbance so one over x checking to see if it's second order we'll hit okay um and uh even though it's sort of uh, the the data set's a little bit skewed here um this is the calculated column the second one which was one over the concentration or one over absorbance we see it kind of curves up so I think uh, definitely this is a, a first order reaction and the data is super conclusive. Again, if we wanted to go back and switch columns, we can go over on the left-hand side and then go under the first calculated column, which was the natural log to see if it's first order. And we can see that is super linear. All right, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.